Hello, this is Taiyuya Shoujo from Eat My Tutorials. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on animating manga. I'm aware there's at least two other videos on this channel about animating images and manga, but I wanted to go a bit more in-depth and give you some tips. Due to some audio recording issues, I've had to re-record this intro, but the rest of the video is me talking directly as I edit, so hopefully that's more helpful and I hope the shift in audio quality isn't too distracting. Today I will show you how to animate. Uh, I picked a picture I've actually already animated in the past, uh, but I hated the video it was in. I just thought the animation turned out nice, and it's simple. So it's not that difficult for me to show you guys, and it's not going to take too long. Um, so that's basically me setting up the sizing of the picture. It's not great, it's a bit too low, but I'll have to deal with it. So my basic rule for animating is to animate as much within the picture as you can, and that's, you can take that the wrong way easily. I don't mean animate everything, because I've only ever seen one animation, maybe, in the past that successfully animated everything and still looked good. I just mean animate enough so that your character doesn't look mechanical, because if you only have one or two body parts moving, um, out of a whole body or something. It looks very mechanical, it doesn't look human, and it ruins the fluidness of your animation. And I've gotten a lot of people tell me my animations look fluid, which I'm really thankful for. I don't know how true it is, but I have received that compliment quite a few times, so hopefully I'm on the right track. So yeah, try and animate as much within an image as you can without overdoing it. Uh, so first, you want to start off making as many layers as you plan to do parts animated. So in this image, I plan to animate his arm and his head. I won't be touching the girl. Uh, she'll still be in the image, but there's not really much I can do about her, so... I'm going to make two layers. But when it comes to animating limbs, or especially bent limbs, you want to animate based on the joints to make it more human. Because the fact is, humans move by our joints. Our arms bend where our joints are. So if you just cut out an entire arm or leg and animate that as a whole, it does look a bit weird. It doesn't look human. So you really want to cut it apart from the joints. So in this case, I'm going to cut out his forearm and his hand. His main body will be his upper arm and his back. And then I'll also animate his head. Oh! And I should also mention that if you're going to have a pan or zoom on your image, do that before you start animating because it will save you a lot of pain. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit and that's it. And that will be my zoom and it will save me so much time later on. So you're going to copy the image and paste it onto the layers. So I've got layer for the head and layer for the arm, but like I said, I'm going to attach it at two joints. So now I've got one for the hand, for the forearm, for the main, for the head, and for the main body. You can label these if you want, but I tend not to, because usually they're in the middle of a project, so it looks a bit weird if you've got an entire layer titled hand. But I'm going to go ahead and start um, masking these now, and... I'll show you how to animate after. So I masked out my entire image. I actually forgot to add the layer for the girl, even though I said I was going to. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. Now what you want to do is basically put your layers in order. If you're organized, you should probably do this from the start, but I tend not to be. So what I mean by putting them in order is placing the parts that are going to go over each other and under each other on top and under each other. So in this case, the head, it needs to be under the main body layer because he has a collar. And if I start moving his head and it's not under the collar, the collar is going to move as well and that's not going to look very good. One thing I'd like to point out about uh, masking when you're about to animate is don't mask out only what you plan to animate. Animate kind of a rounded point, I guess, because 
when you animate you're going to end up with some empty spaces because you're moving the limb around so having this rounded joint will connect it to the next point it's kind of like having a ball jointed doll so i've got my head on the bottom layer my main body right above that and then i've got the forearm the hand and then the girl herself is right here to start with i guess i'll start uh tilting his head up and you see this is where having the zoom already in helps because if you had to animate and match up the zoom it would be hell. I've done it, it's not fun. So for tilting you basically just have to rotate and line up the parts accordingly, like his collar basically. I remember having issues with um, tilting this guy's head when I actually did it last time. So I can't guarantee this will turn out very well, but we'll try. <laughs> So it turned out to be a pretty subtle movement, but his head isn't really the main focus of the animation, so I can deal with that. The main focus is going to be his arm and his hand. So this is the main body layer, you don't really have to do anything to it. It's going to stay the same for the most part. Uh, this would be his forehand, so you... forearm, sorry. You're going to want to animate this before you animate the arms. You want to animate in a general order, meaning you go down the limb because it makes more sense that way if the forearm moves a different way than the upper arm and the hand moves in another way, it doesn't work. So my intent with moving his arm here is to make it look like it's going down to pet her. So I'm going to tilt it slightly and line it up so it looks okay. <laughs> there you have it tilting forward. And now all that's left is to go in and animate the hand to do the same thing. I think animating hands is the best part for me. I really enjoy doing it. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it has such an easy axis of rotation. But there you go. And this is where having the joint or the rounded point comes in handy because I can go in and edit that later and make it look more natural. I'm also going to move the girl to the bottom layer so his hand kind of goes over her instead of under it. But yeah, that's the basics of it. I hope it helped you out somehow. And if you have any questions, please ask them uh, either on the comments of this video or on my own channel. Also, if you have any suggestions for MMV tutorials, something you see in an MMV, uh, please let me know. I'll be happy to try and do them.